Hello, everyone. Welcome to our School Mental Health Mindful Movement Series. We will be hosting these movement-based sessions every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Thank you so much for joining us today. This event is brought to you by the National American Indian and Alaska Native Mental Health Technology Transfer Center under the K-12 School Mental Health Supplement Project. We are located at the University of Iowa and a part of the National MHDTC Network serving the National American Indian and Alaska Native population across the U.S. and Alaska. We provide TA for tribal communities and schools, as well as having several ongoing initiatives and projects. This project is supported by SAMHSA. The content is developed by the presenter, and the opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views or policies of SAMHSA, HHS, or the American Indian and Alaska Native MHTTC. Although we are gathered virtually today, we want to take the time to acknowledge the land and pay respect to the Indigenous nations whose homelands were forcibly taken and inhabited. Please take a moment to read this land acknowledgement, which has been created by three members of our team, Ella Driscoll, Kaylee Driscoll, and Sean Baer. series is brought to you by the K-12 School Supplement Grant Team. This is Teresa Burrington, our project manager. Her background includes a master's in educational leadership, master's in business administration, and progress toward a master's in counseling. She's an enrolled member of the Kohari tribe and a descendant of the Lumbee tribe. She joins us from the Meskwaki settlement in Tama, Iowa, where she currently resides. Julia Bullwitt is a research associate from the University of Iowa and has been assisting on K-12 projects for the past year. She holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from Ball State University and a master's in clinical mental health counseling from the University of Iowa. Kate Proust is a graduate research assistant from the University of Iowa and has been with the K-12 initiative since February of 2021. Kate holds a bachelor's degree in child, adult, and family services with a minor in psychology from Iowa State University. And she is currently working on her master's in school counseling at the University of Iowa. This program and many others are offered through our center located in Iowa City, although we serve across the U.S. Here you will find contact information for our program manager, as well as our program guide for our other services and technical assistance request form. Please reach out to us with any interest in these programs. Today we welcome Victoria Marie, Iron Plume Woman. Victoria has worked with our K-12 projects throughout 2021. She has brought her expertise in youth engagement, movement, meditation, and healing through all kinds of medicine. She is an enrolled tribal member of the Sisseton Wapatan, mother, artist, and founder of Indigenous Lotus. Victoria is joining us today from the Twin Cities in Minnesota and will continue to lead K-12 projects with our center. Welcome, Victoria, and thank you so much for being here today. Everybody, welcome to the Mindful Movement series. I am joining you from a hotel room, actually, as I'm on the road. Today, we're going to focus on checking in with ourselves, our breath, seeing how we are feeling today, and then also reflecting and revisiting some emotions that had come up um, over the holiday or. Um, whatever you refer to um, the third Thursday of every month as. And then we're going to combine that with some movement and some natural stretching. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> get comfortable. Sitting up tall. I am fortunately on a spinning chair, which makes it really nice to move around so that I can show you different, different views. So sitting up tall, shoulders down, relaxed, hands in the lap. Now at any time, when you're ready, you may close your eyes. Begin to inhale through the nose and exhale out through the nose. Keeping this breath the entire duration 
of our practice this morning or this afternoon. Begin to observe as you settle in, as that breath becomes more calm. Now continuing to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. For about another minute. During our practice, we'd like to think about and reflect on our emotions, our feelings, since Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all the way up until today. For some of us celebrating the fall harvest, or what's known as and American holiday Thanksgiving. For some of us, this is a continuing tradition, family gathering, big meals. And for some, maybe this is a time of changing what this looks like, how to celebrate this as an indigenous person or an indigenous ally. For some, the transition or the change might have even been to not celebrate or not gather at all. And either of your choosing is fine. And thinking about how you felt during that time at the end of last week. Focus on what comes up and draw it back in. I mean, what led up to that day? <clears throat> and then throughout that third Thursday, There's joy, happiness, gathering with friends or family. We're keeping it really small, spending it with maybe just a few others, a couple others, or even with yourself. Whatever emotions, feelings that had come up, go ahead and let that memory and those emotions just fade back into the past because we are only reflecting, only checking it. Now, we'll work from head to toe through our body scan. Now, whether those emotions were joy or the complete opposite, perhaps even some frustration, whatever had come up, that is stored within the body somewhere. Again, whether it's a wanted feeling or an unwanted feeling. For some of us, that joy, happiness, and even that frustration is sitting still in the belly. Maybe if there was frustration or any related emotions. That is stored perhaps in the shoulders, the back. 
the liver. The liver is associated with anger and, and related emotions. Let's go ahead and inhale together, deep breath. Fill the belly, hold. Exhale out through the nose. One more time, inhale deep into the belly. Exhale. Now let's start at the head. Working your way down to the shoulders. down the spine and the arms, the hips down to the knees, to the ankles and the feet. Feeling the ground beneath you. We'll do that scan from head to toe one more time, but keeping the eyes closed, we're gonna bring in some movement. So starting at the head, relax any tension from the top of the head down, the face down the neck. And just feel it falling away as you relax. Maybe taking one ear to one shoulder, side to side. Shoulders, back, arms. Again, bring that movement in as you work your way down. All the way down, the hips, the knees, down to the feet. Begin to feel the body fully awakened. I'm coming back to a neutral seating, seated position. Slowly open the eyes, looking down first and then forward. Let's go ahead and take those hands down. <clears throat> Reach them all the way down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Down, hold here at the heart, pressing up, slight back bend here, coming back to center, hands down. Bring the hands to heart, press up, slight back bend, coming back to center, hands come down. One more time, bring it in, then up and down. Take those hands down, bring them down above the knees, <clears throat> arch the spine and tuck the chin. Inhale, press that foot forward, shoulders come back, chin lifts, exhale, press them down. Inhale, forward, opening up, exhale.
Take those hands down, bring them down above the knees, <clears throat> arch the spine, and tuck the chin. Inhale, press that heart forward, shoulders come back, chin lifts, exhale, press them back. Inhale, forward, opening up, exhale. And back to center. Stick one hand down to the side of the chair. The other hand is going to come down as well, but it's just going to rest off to the side. Circle out the wrist. Inhale, arm reaches all the way up. Exhale, bring it down. Grasping onto the seat of the chair. Other arm. Circle out and reach up. And exhale down. Take those hands back to the lap. Take the chin. We're going to sit up tall. So we're going to keep the spine nice and long. Take that chin, lower it down. Slightly over to the left. Back to center and over to the right. Back to center. Inhale, chin lifts. Now we're going to take the hands, place them, palms face up, micro bend, or actually more of a generous bend in the elbows. So you can bring. and plant them down. Let's take those hands out, palms face forward, fingertips up. So here, my wrists are aligned with my shoulders, my fingers are drawn back, I'm pressing the palms forward, fingers are spread wide, now we're going to lower those fingertips down and back up. So moving slow. Bring that into the shoulders. Fingertips are, or fingers are still spread wide. Now we're going to extend those arms out. Reaching up. Thumbs are going to touch, making a fist, opening up. Bring it back down, wrists align with the shoulders, and back up, thumbs touch, and back down. Inhale, arms rise. Interlacing the hands, we're going to flip those palms, put the hands, palms face up, reach all the way up. <sighs> Bend the elbows generously, back of the hands, rest on top of the head. Palms are going to come back together and circle out. Let's go ahead and extend one leg. That leg is aligned with the hip. So if you find it resting, pick it up. Go ahead and bring it in towards that hip crease. This is a seated half lotus, and we're sitting up tall. 
If there's any discomfort, you can ease up and bring that ankle closer to the knee. We're gonna inhale, take those arms up, twisting over to the side where the leg is coming in, so the side of the bent knee, and we're going to twist open over to that side. So take that chin towards that back shoulder. We want to lengthen through that upper body. So imagine a string drawing you up. Keeping the shoulders down. Now inhale, arms rise, coming back to center. Take those hands, bring them down to the heart. Option to keep the leg, the lifted leg where it is, or bring it up into that opposite elbow crease, grasping onto the knee. Now you can just hold on to the knee and sit back if you'd like. So I am leaning back, or you can sit up tall. And sitting up tall, we'll gently release that leg back down. Let's go ahead and sit a little bit closer to the edge of our seat and circle up the feet. Both directions. Each side. Now, you can sit back a little bit more if you need to. We're gonna take that opposite leg Opposite foot comes into that hip crease. So again, sitting up tall. Take those hands down. Inhale, sweep them up. Exhale, twist open to the other side. The chin towards that back shoulder. Then to sit back, take that foot to the elbow crease and draw it in closer to the chest. And exhale, release down. Let's go ahead and lift the heels. Lower them down, draw the toes up towards the knees. And let's go ahead, plant them down and we're gonna to come to standing. You can use your chair for support if you still need to, or the wall. So those two options for the chair, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the hands onto the back of the chair and we're going to press down. So standing up tall, my hips are aligned with my heels and to reach forward. You can step back too if you need to. And then we're going to allow for that stretch in the shoulders and the back. If you are using the wall for support, same thing. So reaching out and lowering the upper body down. Micro bend in those elbows. Exhale coming up, exhale down. Now, option to stay right here. If we're staying here, our navel is drawn in up towards our spine. So we want the 
more of a flat back or a neutral spine. So option to stay here or exhale, lower all the way down. If we're lowering all the way down, allow the upper body to fall over, hang over the waist. Micro bend in the knees. Make sure the toes are still facing forward. For some of us, if we walk with our feet wider out, this is definitely working and utilizing, engaging some muscles here in the, in the inner legs. So pressing through the feet, we're going to halfway lift. Now we'll press all the way up. Generous bend in the knees as we rise up. And exhale, hands are gonna come down. So here with our natural stretching, just if you got up or got out of the car from traveling, like I have been doing since yesterday, fully stretch. So if you just got out of bed or just got up from being in a seated position for so long, natural stretching. Yeah. And then when you're ready, go ahead and come to standing. The toes are facing forward. Feet are under the hips. And so you'll notice my feet are not touching. Align with the hips. Now, the same as we did uh, in, in our chair, we're going to take one foot up towards that hip crease. This is a safer version of tree pose because this won't compromise the knee or the other hip. Here, this allows for the hip to open where the knee is bent. So you can use the chair for support. Now, often to stay right here, the next pose that we're gonna get into can be a bit challenging for some. So if you feel pretty comfortable and your knees feel pretty stable, you can bend the knee, inch forward, lower down, and bend that knee. Option to bring hands to chest. I know that in this toe stand, I can only bring one hand up, so I'm going to stay here. Now to come back up, we're going to press those hips back up using a chair for support if you need to. Rise up, bring hands to heart center. And exhale, gently release down. Switching sides. Now bring that foot up to the hip crease. And allow for that knee to lower down, open the hip. Option to stay right here or begin to lower forward, bending that knee all the way down. And you might notice you feel different on one side than the other. I have been walking up mountains this whole weekend, so my legs are pretty tired. So there's no balance here in this position. Let's go ahead and standing back up. and tall. Go ahead and bring one hand or both hands to heart. Come in here. No, and I'm recording right now. Sorry about that. All right, so continue to stand tall. 
exhale, lower down. All right. One more time, some natural stretches. Now, I know we usually have in class, either in our chair or if we practice without any other um, props, we usually end and seated. We're going to end standing. So let's go ahead and stand tall, hands rest up. Eyes closed. Let's go ahead, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, down to the heart. Remembering to take time for reflection, regardless of how you had felt. Reflecting allows for us to continue to move forward, to enjoy life's moments, or to learn from them so that we may grow from them. Combining that reflection with movement, as we continue to work throughout our body, removing any blockages as we can as we need to. And then bow forward, thumbs to center brow. And I wanna say thank you, Kadamia, Miigwech, everyone for being a part of practice today. Thank you.